Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. It is Courtney here. Today's currently Friday, March the 25th. March the 25th. Sorry, the days kind of have started running together. Today's a very special day because I am two weeks postpartum, which means Lila is two weeks old. I cannot believe we have a two week old. Since I am two weeks out from my C-section, I can drive today. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be able to take myself to the hospital to see her, take myself just to run errands and not have to rely on people or try to coordinate my rides. So I'm so excited for today. I'm going to meet my dad first. We're gonna get some coffee, run some errands together. My recovery has been going great. Like I am in little to zero pain all of the time. I'm really not even taking ibuprofen for pain anymore. So I've been doing really well postpartum, so I feel comfortable doing this. I'm gonna take my vitamins really quick. I'll show you guys what I'm taking since having Lila. And then I will update you guys kind of throughout the day. This is just gonna be a day in my life of a NICU mom. So I hope you will stick around. Go ahead and like the video for me. Subscribe if you are new here. And yeah, let's go ahead and get on with our day. So the only things that I'm taking since having Lila are my prenatal vitamin. I'm continuing with the baby aspirin just until I see my OB in two weeks. And I'm also continuing to take the iron supplement. Those are the only three things that I take now. So I'm very happy with that. So whenever we go see Lila, normally once a day, I will take some milk for her. This is all fresh from last night and today. Normally take about 12 ounces to start. And then if I need to take more back, I can, but basically this is just fresh milk that I did last night and this morning. I do have some left over just in case I need to bring more. We put her little hospital label on there. You date it and you time it from when you finished it and then they can kind of give it to her through her NG tube as needed. And just in case I'm ever low on supply, which so far I have not been, I do already have a section in my freezer with stored breast milk. Production's going really well, as you can see, so I have plenty stored up in case I need it, but they do ask me to bring fresh just since they have a fridge and not a freezer there. So we just pop the freezer bag in there. I will take this to my dad's house when I meet him and keep it in their fridge. Normally I go see Lila around lunch. Typically that's when the least amount of families are in there. Normally if I go at lunch, they let me hold her for a little bit longer as they're doing their lunch breaks. So that's when her milk kind of runs out anyway. So we're gonna head to my dad's. Okay, here we go. Oh man, that's a good feeling. Okay, so we're here at the hospital for our first visit of the day. I have my milk. I normally get to sit with her for like an hour while I'm here, so this is my favorite visit of the day. Hi, baby. You feel cozy in there? Hi, are you waking up? Hi, baby. A sweet girl. It's so sweet. Even her clothes. That's so cute. Okay, so I just came by the courtesy room to use the bathroom before I head out to grab some lunch. Big things have happened with Lila since I last updated you guys. So just a quick rundown. The last time I saw you guys, she was losing her CPAP and going to a nasal cannula. I know it's been a long time since I've updated you guys. I know it's been about a week and a half since then. She was on the nasal cannula for about four to five days. She lost that last weekend. So she's been off of the nasal cannula for right at a week by the time you guys are watching this. I'd also mentioned that they were giving her caffeine to help stimulate her lungs so that she didn't have any apnea episodes or episodes where she would slow her breathing. The caffeine was used to kind of remind her to breathe and stimulate her for lung function. So she's been off the caffeine now for almost a week. She's been working on regulating her temperature. They're continuing to compress her feeding through her little feeding tube. When we first started this whole process, she was on continuous feeds, which meant all day long, food was slowly going through her NG tube to her belly. They started doing timed feeds once she started to tolerate that well without any spitting up episodes. It started off where they would feed her a very small amount, but over two hours, and then give her a two and a half hour break. Since, you know, newborns typically eat between two and three hours, so they would feed her a certain amount in a time frame and then give her some time to digest that before starting the next feed. So we started off continuous feeds. It went to two hours and then a break, an hour and a half, and then a break. 
spend 60 minutes in a break. She is currently eating about an ounce and a half over 45 minutes now with the two and a half hour break. We will compress down to 30 minutes and she also needs to tolerate a bottle. She has not shown interest in like sucking a pacifier or a bottle continuously yet. She'll do like one or two times and then kind of quit but once again she was like a 34 weaker so for five to six weeks early premature so she doesn't necessarily have that suck reflex yet so that's what we're waiting for her to get another thing that you guys saw is when i went in there she was under a warmer for a while they ended up putting her in an incubator box like one of the enclosed incubators the only reason for that was because they thought that maybe she was burning more calories trying to regulate her body temperature from the food that she was getting so just in an effort to save her from burning so many calories they put her in the incubator box so that she didn't have to work as hard to eat and regulate her temperature honestly since she's been in the box she has started to thrive like weight gain has been great and steady today four pounds 13 ounces i cannot believe that she is almost to five pounds she surpassed her birth weight in two weeks which is what they wanted they wanted her to meet it so they wanted her at four pounds four ounces today However, she's four pounds, 13 ounces. So she is almost a five pounder, which is great. And she's been off the oxygen for seven days. She's been off the caffeine for seven days, which is so, so good. And you saw her in normal clothes. She's been under the incubator doing well. However, today they have her in a newborn onesie. So that's why it looked like it swaddled her. That was not a preemie. Her nurse said that they even use that on the 10 pound babies, so it is okay. <laughs> they have her in a onesie and just swaddled on the lowest room temperature setting in the incubator. So now she is working on regulating temperature. That's a new thing today. And so far she's been doing great with that. So I was, I was only able to hold her for like 20 or 30 minutes this visit because of that, since they've taken her out of the incubator warmer just to make sure that you know she's not out for too long and can be right back up in her little swaddle in there just in case so making leaps and bounds today i can't believe that she's two weeks old and just done so well considering you know just everything that we were told that could possibly happen with her go wrong with her she's just honestly she's such a healthy baby she's gaining weight rapidly i just i'm so proud of her logan and i are just so excited has it been easy having her here no but they've taken really great care of her. We love our doctors here. We've loved all of the nurses that have taken care of her. They're so sweet. We are hoping, we're still hoping that she comes home sometime next week. We will see. But with the progress she's made over the past couple days, I hope so. Because our nurse told us today, they can't ever give you a date. They never want to give you a date and then have your baby not come home that date because then they've gotten your hopes up. So we don't have a date that she's coming home yet. But she told me now that we're at the phase where they're putting her in clothes, and wrapping her and she's not having to have her temperature regulated by the incubator anymore she said it's going to start to go quick now that she's gaining weight that rapidly now that she's doing really good with the feedings and stuff she said that it should start going a little bit quicker for her so i'm hoping that she gets that suck reflex down because i really feel like that's one of the last things we're waiting on is for her to take her feedings from a bottle so we are praying for that but i'm going to go grab some lunch and eat with my parents so we're going to go do that. I love being able to drive. I was able to drive myself up here, stay for 20 minutes. And now instead of staying here until somebody could get me, now I can just go eat with them. So I'm loving driving today. Um, but yeah, really great news today. So I will see y'all in just a little bit. Okay, so I'm back from my parents' house now. We had a good time eating lunch together and just visiting. I'm loving being independent and driving myself. It is so nice to come and go as I please. But I am back home now. It is time for me to pump again. Like I said, I have not struggled with milk production. I know I shared in the last video kind of about my journey with how breast milk came in. I am overproducing for what Lila eats right now, which I'm very thankful for. But I had mentioned in the last video that day two of breastfeeding for me was a struggle. I was pumping for an hour at a time, just really not getting a whole lot. And so on that day, just to be safe, I actually ordered several items from a company called Milky Mama. This is not sponsored. Like I literally purchased this with my own money, but I did get their stuff in. And so that it does not go to waste, I am using it. Basically, they're like a brand of lactation products. There's cookies, brownies, drinks, supplements that you drop on your tongue kind of deal. So I got a little bit of everything from their website just to try out and see what I like. I'm assuming that I'm about to produce even more, but so far what I've tried from them I've liked. I've only tried two of the things I'm about to show you, 
But in case you are somebody that is trying to breastfeed and struggling and may want to try something, so far I've really enjoyed the stuff I've tried. I'm just going to share with you really quickly what I got before I went ahead and pumped again. So the first thing I'm just going to show you first, because this is what I've been using the most, is this drink mix. It's called the Lactation Lemonade. This is like a little powder that you put in your water bottle with a glass of water, you know, whatever. They taste really good, just like a flavored water packet. I got several of the lemonade, same drink mix, but in the flavor Milky Melon. I have not tried this one yet, but I got these two just because I thought they were fun and for summer. So they have the drink mixes. I also got one of the smoothie mixes. This is frozen hot chocolate. And all you do for this is you mix this in with one cup of milk. You can use um, bananas or other fruits to mix in with this if you want to. I think banana would be really good with this. And then some ice and then you just blend it and drink it. But this is the lactation smoothie mix in frozen hot chocolate. And then I also got the latte mix and that is this. It makes kind of like a frozen coffee. You just mix this with half a cup of milk of your choice, a cup of ice, and then you blend it. And then you go ahead and have this. It only has 24 milligrams of caffeine. Got a 24 count of the oatmeal chocolate chip lactation cookies. I had one of these yesterday for dessert. They were really, really good. And so I did go ahead and get a box of these. They're individually wrapped. Yeah, this is what they look like in the package. They're really, really tasty. I think you can eat two at a time. I just had one. So big fan of the oatmeal chocolate chip flavor of the cookies. Last thing, I got this little dietary supplement. It comes in a little dropper bottle. It's called Lady Leche. This one's supposed supposed to help if your baby is gassy, colicky, helps with breast milk production, and a whole bunch of other stuff. They have five or six different versions of this based on your needs. Since Lila is being fed through her NG tube, I got this one just in case she did struggle with gas. She hasn't so far, but um, this has a great flavor to it. I have tried this once. It really wasn't that bad. You can either drop this directly underneath your tongue or you can mix it in with a drink. So very excited about those things. Excited to keep using them. Like I said, I really haven't struggled with breastfeeding like I thought I would on day two, which of course I'm thankful for, but I did want to share that with you just in case you were interested. Alrighty, another seven-ish ounces done. I'm going to just combine everything that I have so far, try to get it down in two bottles, store it in the fridge. They said that they shouldn't need more milk at the NICU until like tomorrow night when we go visit, so... Honestly, I'm just going to keep this because it's good in the fridge for three days, so we're just going to come on that real fast. Hello. Hey. One of the things we're doing this weekend is getting our yard under control to fertilize, <laughs> to fertilize it and do some stuff in the flower beds. So we started to get done early today, and that was in our yard, so that's good. Ah. <laughs> Okay, it's now 10 o'clock at night. We're back here at the hospital for visit number two. Visit number one for the last like three days for me, so I'm excited. Yeah, we don't always come late at night just because if Logan gets off work late after we eat dinner, it can be really late when you have to work the next day, but it's the weekend. We can stay up late. It's now 12.30 in the morning, so technically it was a little bit more than a day in my life, but we had a good visit with Lila tonight. She pretty much slept through the whole visit just like she normally does, but we're just very thankful for the progress that she's made in the two weeks that she's been here on earth. Like, I cannot believe she's already two weeks old. I'm hoping that sometime next week we'll be able to bring her home and start to share that part of our lives with y'all. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and kind of got some insight into what it's like to have to go up to the hospital to visit your baby and take milk and just stuff like that. But um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and we will see y'all in the very next video. I hope you guys have a great day whenever you're watching this. But I'm very tired, so I'm going to go to sleep because I have to wake up in the morning and pump again. So I hope you all have a good night, and we'll see you guys later.